Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to fetch the result using the REST API and show that over here. And in this video, we will continue further and we'll learn about the load mode. Let's say there are more results because right now you're only showing nine of them. You want to be able to click on the load mode and fetch more results, basically append more results to the existing ones. So let's see how we can do that. So we have this Aquila load more. So we go there. And then we handle the load more. So open that, put it here. So inside of constructor, we have super. Again, like I said, all the components are independent. Tomorrow, you want to remove load more, just remove it. Don't worry about it. Uh, so that's why keeping things in isolation is really, really useful. So we subscribe to it. We listen to the change in the store. Uh, we add an event on this button that we have which is this button and we call this function anytime uh, this button is clicked. Uh, we also grab the next page number because if you remember when we created the markup uh, from the previous episode, if you haven't watched it, I strongly suggest to watch that. We have the next page number attribute which contains the next page number value. So we grab that using the get attribute and update gets called anytime there's a change in the state, pulls the page number from here check if the next page number is less than or equal to page number, then just removes the, uh, that particular button uh, from the DOM. So anytime, if the next page number is less than or equal to the page number, then we just remove that button. Uh, and in case if the user clicks on it, we basically call the load more post function. So we need to create that inside of the data .js. So let's do that. So over here, we create load more posts. So we uncomment this and we add that function there. So load more posts, here it is. All right, so we copy this load more function and then we go over here and paste it. Let's see what's happening there. So load more is gonna take, load more posts function is going to take next page number. It'll pull the REST API URL result markup and filters from the state and it'll call the get URL with filters which basically just adds the um, filters and the page number into the REST API URL and just returns it. And it sets the state by setting the loading more post to true and the page number to next page number. And then it fetches using the fetch URL. And then it basically, uh, once it gets the response, again calls the get result markup and get load more markup as I explained to you in the previous video and sets the loading more post to false a results post and what it does differently this time is that it takes the previous result markup adds more result markup and load more markup to it okay so let's go ahead and check if i refresh and if i go back click load more you can see it that is added load more again it's add more load more and so on and so forth depending on the number of uh, posts that are available and now i'm going to just remove the console from the top and put that over here under this update and put that over here under the Aquila load mode and see what happens. Refresh. And if I click on load more, see that results, uh, see that the uh, result markup has been updated, right? Page number has gone to page number two. If I go back and click again. So notice that page number has gone to page number three. Keep clicking on that, it'll keep changing. And also notice that if you inspect the load more, this is also getting changed. So next page number is page number four. The current page number is page number three, okay? So that's what's happening over here is basically calling this load more post by passing the next page number. In this case, page number four is the next page number because it's available here. And if you take a look at the network request, you'll notice that uh, in the headers, page number three is passed over here. So if you make a call again, then the next page number, which is the page number four is will get called. Okay, so that's how it works. We also want to show some kind of a loading while the posts are being loaded, more posts are being loaded. So for that, we have the Aquila loading more component. 
which doesn't have anything right now just completely empty we just want to sh show some text so again we can subscribe to it rather than you know doing mix mix and match we can just subscribe to the store and then we'll just update the uh, the content of this particular element so let's do that so i'm going to copy this put that here subscribe update inner html will be loading more post if it's loading more posts is true so remember that when we were writing this function initially setting loading more post to true which is when we'll show loading more post text right when it becomes false after we've received the response then this will get empty in HTML will get empty so now if you go back uh, refresh and take a look notice you have loading more posts which is flash for a second and then we have the content that's been added okay uh, so that's that one thing I want to show you was because this is there in the URL if you refresh that's when it's going to call the initialize function initially it's gonna get the state from the URL so it's gonna get the filters from the URL set it in the state using the set state from URL set all of that filter information is going to call the get results get results is going to make an api call get the data and then because each of these components are listening individually to the store, same store they're going to behave differently so this component will go ahead and update the, res the result data this component will automatically check whichever uh, term is present in the state and so on and so forth we also want to show the result count over here so let's do that as well so the only thing, so one thing is not done is result count. Let's do that. Okay. So again, subscribe, update. If the result count is not null, then set that information inside of this component. So you refresh, you can see that that component has been updated. It's so simple, you know, it just makes, kind of breaks the entire big complex application into a small pieces, which you can handle differently. Tomorrow, if you decide to remove this component, just remove it because all it's doing is just listening to the store and just updating itself, right? And depending on what the user select, select this, you can see now this changed because it's listening to it. It's just listening to this count. So result, whatever the whenever the change uh, happens in the result count, which is this particular variable, then it's just going to update itself. So each component is responsible for updating itself. Next one up is basically to clear all the filters. So I'm going to show you that in the next video. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.